In this lesson, we will learn how to use the HTML editor for editing the text. In this lesson, we will explain the controls available in the second row of the HTML editor. The first highlighted group represents the text effect group. Let's click in the message field to write some text. Select the whole text written in the first paragraph. And click capital B icon to make the text with bold effect. Now select some more text. And click capital I icon to change the text to italic effect. You can also underline the text by selecting the text and using the capital U icon. Now select a particular word in the text. Now click the strike through icon to remove the incorrect word. And type the correct word. Now let's write some more text in the text field. The next two highlighted icons can be used to apply subscript or superscript effect to the selected text. Let's apply the subscript effect. Select the text and click the subscript button. Similarly, let's write some more text and use the superscript effect. Select the text to which the superscript effect is to be applied. And click the superscript icon. The next highlighted group is known as the line format group. It is used to align text with left, right or center indentation. Select some text and click the center align button to align the text with central indentation. Now click the left icon to align it back to the left indentation. Next highlighted group is known as the formatting group. First icon in this group is known as clean up messy code. When you paste anything from any other website, there is some unwanted HTML code along with the text. This button is used to remove the messy code in the text. The next button is used to remove any kind of formatting in the text. Select some text. And click the remove formatting button to remove any kind of formatting in the text. Notice that all kind of formatting is removed from the selected text. You can also paste anything in the text format by using the button paste as text. You can also paste any text from the programs like MS Word or similar to it by using the button paste from Word. Copy the text in Word and paste it here. And click insert. The next highlighted group is known as the color group. It is used to change the colors of the selected text. Let's select some text and expand the select text color bar. Use any color for the selected text to change the color of the text. We can also highlight text by using the change background color icon. Select some text and click expand change background color bar. Select the color for highlighting the text. Last highlighted group is called as the paragraph group. Most languages are written from left to right, except few, which are written from right to left. These two icons controls the direction of the written text. Thank you for watching.